Whether they lived or died, whether they escaped or whether they sunk to the bottom of the ocean, we're going to rank all the characters here on Fog Entertainment. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's time to rank every single character that was in the film. Poseidon, yes, tragedy hits a cruise ship when it falls to the bottom of the ocean. But can our characters get out of the ship in time? Well, if you want to know, then you have to check out the review that is up on the channel. But if you want to know how I rank all 12 main characters from this movie, then you're in the right place, because we're about to do it right here, right now. And coming at number 12th place, we have Jimmy Bennon who played Connor James. This guy absolutely sucked. I know he's a kid. I know it might seem harsh me saying that a kid absolutely sucked, but he was just your typical child in a movie or a TV series that is the sole purpose of them being there is to just be annoying, is to annoy the fuck out of you. And it's like, hold on, there's already enough shit going on. This is a tragedy. These people are on this cruise ship. It's about to sink. They need to try and get their way to safety. There's enough obstacles in their way. They don't need a little moany brat to make things worse for them. But that's exactly what he did. So yeah, coming at number 12 is Connor James. Coming in at number 11 was Richard Nelson, played by Richard Dreyfuss. This guy was just annoying. Some old gay guy who was annoyed that his fiance had left him before he got on the ship. He was going to kill himself. He was going to commit suicide. Then when he seen the wave coming, he decided not to. And he then proceeded throughout the movie to Almost get people killed. He got one of the characters definitely killed. He could have possibly saved another but didn't bother. And it was like, this guy should have just died early on in the film. Coming to number 10, we have Maggie James. She was the mother of Connor James. And I'm going to put her 10th because... Her son was annoying and she gave birth to him. So yeah. Plus she didn't really help out. She had opportunities in the movies where she could have done something to lend a hand. And you know, she just kind of stood in the background to look after her annoying son. Well, all the men did the work and died. So yeah, now I'm going to put her in at number 10. Coming to number 9, we've got Fergie who played Gloria. Fergie, a.k.a. Stacey Ferguson from the Black Eyed Peas, didn't really get to do much. She was just pretty much here as a singer, but she didn't do anything that pissed me off. So that is why she's coming at number nine. Cup number eight, we have Captain Bradford. Definitely looks like a guy from Resident Evil, but I checked his Wikipedia page. He's never been in with Resident Evil, but he was the captain of the ship. He was adamant that if they stayed down the bottom in the, like, the dining hall area, they would have been safe because they had the water proof doors and the fireproof doors but what did this guy know the windows smashed it, everything flooded and they all died and this guy is responsible for getting like 98 percent of the cruise ship killed going in at number seven we have marco valentine who was played by freddie rodriguez and i actually kind of like marco valentine but he had a really limited amount of time in this movie but he's a good guy he tried to help people escape and in the end they essentially sacrificed him to save the old gay guy that didn't even want to live so I mean, make it make sense. Marco Valentine done for, you know, he got killed for nothing, really. And before he died, they had the old gay man hitting on him as well, which is fucking weird. Coming in number six, we have Elena Morales, played by the beautiful Maya Maestro. She was, I believe, the love companion of Marco Valentine in the movie. They get introduced to each other at the start. However, once disaster strikes, they never once meet up again. They never get to uh, rekindle. She dies a really dumb death, to be honest. Hits her head on a bit, of <laughs> a bit of cement. It's like, what the fuck? She was an okay character, though. I didn't dislike her. I thought she was fine. Um, she wasn't annoying. She wasn't overly helpful, and she was a little bit scared at times. And she was, like, afraid of water, afraid of tight spaces, afraid of a lot of shit. But, I mean, it's a situation where I'm not going to hold it against her being afraid. Plus, I really like the actress. I think she's hot, so she's coming in at number six. Coming in at number five, we've got Christian Sanders, played by Mike Fogel, the boyfriend of Jennifer Ramsey. I mean, he was okay. He was willing to help out. He was willing to sacrifice himself. He was willing to make sure and try and get everybody off the ship. Just not that much of a compelling character. There was nothing overly interesting about him, but he was okay. So he's coming to number five. Coming to number four, we have Jennifer Ramsey, who played the daughter of Robert Ramsey. And even though she was your typical female, she did at times help in the movie. She especially helped her boyfriend. And I feel like she tried to dissolve any or defuse any like situations. There was a couple of times where people were maybe getting a little bit hot tempered and she tried to cool that shit down so I thought she was a decent character plus she was hot I'll go 
with her at number four. Coming at number three, we've got Lucky Larry, played by Kevin Dillon. I mean, this guy was funny, a bit like Marco Valentine, didn't really get that much screen time in the movie, but the screen time that he did get, he made it count. Just a very funny character. Um, he, he's talking about how, yeah, you don't get called Lucky Larry for nothing, and then two seconds later, he gets hit like with a massive fucking engine falling from the <laughs> the falling from the bottom of the uh, the ship. Pretty insane when you think about it. Coming at number two, we have Robert Ramsey, played by Kurt Russell. Like, Kurt Russell still got it, even though when this movie came out, he must have been getting to his later years. He's still a very very good actor. I enjoy most films with Kurt Russell in it, and this was you know this was the same. Can't say anything. Different. I, I enjoyed this film. It was good, and I think Kurt Russell played a good role. Robert Ramsey played the caring dad. He also sacrificed himself so that his daughter could be with her new fiance, and that he would have to sacrifice himself. So he gave his life up so that his daughter's fiance could live, and I guess take care of his daughter. Kind of reminded me a little bit of the sacrifice made in Armageddon, where Bruce Willis's character he basically sacrifices him himself so that his daughter's new fiance can live and, and take care of her so I, mean, I wouldn't say it's on the same scale as that but it was pretty close to that so yeah i'll give it credit i liked it decent character likable guy unfortunately he didn't make it but you know what good character and coming to number one we've got dylan jones who's played by josh lucas uh, basically this he was a former marine u.s marine he was a man that made stuff happen he was the one that was like right we need to escape we can't just sit here and wait to fucking die because this ship is going to overturn turn and he put everything into motion he was the one that started the escape plan and he was willing to lead the line he was willing to take the risks and if any he was willing to die he was willing to lead these people even though he was hesitant at first and wanted to do it himself in the end he was willing to sacrifice he was not wanting to leave anyone behind even though he did leave valentine behind at the beginning when it got to the end and i wanted him to leave behind that annoying kid he wouldn't leave him behind so maybe he shouldn't be number one but no overall i thought dylan johns was a good character and uh, he was basically the main hero of this film and he's the one that got them all to safety it was his plan that got them to the bottom of the ship which was technically the top of the ship because it capsided and overturned but still he got them off the ship alive so everybody owes this man a big thank you and probably a pint of uh, alcohol of his choice so yeah guys there you go that is it ranked all characters from the film Poseidon and uh, yeah let us know your thoughts down below if you've seen this movie then let me know who your favorite character was if you haven't seen this movie then go and check out the review on the channel guys that is it we'll catch you next time for fucking entertainment peace out